Glad to have you with us today. And today on the talk about, we're going to discuss that we need to stop giving the authoritarian left and the trans community an inch in this new culture war. We need to stop it. And the reason why is because there was a tweet over the weekend um, from Nate the lawyer, and he's a prominent YouTube lawyer who break down who has breaks down a lot of law case. Okay, he's really good at what he does. However, in most of the cases, I do agree with him. However, there is, but these last two tweets, I disagree with him on the lower part. And I'm going to tell you why and show you in real time an example why giving an inch to the authoritarian left and the trans community is going to result in disaster in this new culture war. So let's get into it. Unpopular opinion. This is what Nate the lawyer puts. I am not a cisgender man or a cisgender, um, cisgender man. I am just a man. Right on, brother. Please do not refer to me as such. He's asking, don't call him that. Again, he's asking the other side not to call him that. If you are a man who is now claiming to be a woman, you are a trans woman, transition from man and woman. He is 100% correct. Hence the name trans woman, trans man. You transition from um, a man to a woman, a woman to man. But biologically, you are still whatever you was born Either you're a biological male or a biological woman. Hence the name trans woman, trans man. It's not rocket science. If you want me to call, now this is where I disagree with him. If you want me to call you a woman and drop the trans, fine, but also respect my preference too. Brother, they're not going to respect your preference. Don't you see what's going out here in the new culture war? Okay. Do you see it? The other side is calling us a biological male, man, and biological women, cis. Right. But they demand us to call them by their pronoun, but they won't respect us. Remember what I told you guys? Respect is a two way street. And and this is the reason why. And I'm going to show you in real time why giving an inch to the authoritarian left or the trans community is a problem. It's OK to say no. And here's the thing. People who are part of that community, it's OK to believe where you want to believe. I'm fine with that. I don't hate you or anything in my heart. Right. What I have a problem with is that as a libertarian, I have a fundamental problem that you're compelling other speech and compelling others to believe what they, but you won't expect them to believe. And then if you, and from the same side, and when they disagree with you, you use the rock of the torrents against them. A turf, bigot, all these names, right? All these names you give them that has negative connotation against them. And they could get counsel or fire or whatever it is um, and mess up their livelihood. But I don't hear any crying about that. It's either your way or the highway. And that's why I do not agree with any type or, or any part of any authoritarian at all, period. But let's continue. So then after he says that, right, this person this, or this user responded with this. Who's going around calling you a cis man, Nate? Is there some aggression against yourself that you just made up? Implying that being called cis is a slur. It is a slur. Matter of fact, Elon Musk two weeks ago just claimed that if you're using a nanocon, you're using cis as another and um as a negative derogative term because you're not respected. Because there's there's a thing between science, right? Biological male, biological woman. There's no way around it. And why Elon Musk said if you call them it's a slur, you can get banned, right, or suspend their account. The reason why is because that same community, right, the same community says if you're if you don't respect my pronoun you are misgendering me which so is hate speech and it's a crime and it's and it's violence that same side right that same side so this you see nate i want you to you see nate this is the reason why i said they were not respected just says implying that being called cis is a slur right you just said that you want to be called you don't want to be called cisgender man but this person would not call you by a by, uh, man they will call you a cisgender or since man. Do you get it? Do you guys get this? Stop giving them an inch. Stop it. And this is what he says. The trans community claims trans women are real women. They are also claiming we should call them just women. You are fine with it. See, there, there he goes again. He's giving me. Not only that, he contradicts himself, right? Didn't he say right here in this last tweet, if you are a man who is claiming to be a woman, you are a trans woman, transition from man to woman. Didn't he just say that? He just said it, and then now he just been in the knee and saying right here, they are claimed that we should call him a woman. I am fine with that. No, Nate, we are not fine with that. I'm certainly not. 
I'm not fine with that. Okay? That's not fair to biological women. Right? This is why we're in this new culture war. How is it that we can't differentiate between a biological man and a biological woman? It is not rocket science. This is why I say common sense and critical thing is dying. Because we're allowing people, people who, with all due respect, they have the right to live their life how they want, and I wish them well in that, right? But the same people are going to try to confer you by their term and make sure you call them by what they want, but they're not going to give the respect back. Remember, to respect is a two-way street, not a one-way. Let's continue. The person thinks my response is controversial and aggressive, but the other not. This is what the world's coming in. Yes, Nate, this is what the world comes because people like you continue to agree with the other side and give them an in. Stop it. It's okay to say no. It's okay. It's okay to say no. There's nothing wrong with that. All you can do is disagree. I never heard that disagreeing with something now is considered hate speech and violence. Really? You have every right to believe whatever you want to believe. Now, I did respond to the threat, and now we're going to get into, and I'm going to show you how authoritarian is in disguise, a fox in disguise in real time, right? Remember this thread right here, folks? You, all right. Then it started with this, and then this person talks about bonus hole. It's the epiphany of right-wing outrage mining. Y'all so desperate to get mad at something. Really? Really? This right here? You see this right here, guys, right here? This same tweet from Stacy from Stacy Ford right here. And they're saying it's right wing. You guys are get bad get mad. Look at this person right here. Really? Let's continue. I re responded saying your side, the Dark Channel Life, is constantly crying and demanding constant validation from others um of your belief. I know enough enough is said. Which is correct, right? The authoritarian left. And the trans community are constantly crying about demanding constant validation from others. It's crazy. Did you get that off your chest? Now that we met our what a bosom quota, can we get back on topic? I'm still on topic. I'm just saying it's not about what a bosom is observation. We're still on top. This is supposed to be hypocrisy. I'm talking about this up here, the hypocrisy. And then you're going to say about bonus hole is the apophony of right room, right wing mining. What was that come from? Then this person responded, no, it's about what about them. What about them is an observation, but we we're talking about the example on how it's right wing. I respond. Are you going to own up and try to divert the left for some more? Seriously, common sense, my blank. Do you see? Do you see? Do you see it now? Also, while I'm certainly more authoritarian, some right or libertarian than some right libertarian, my positions generally run centrist left. He says it right there, centrist left. Like I said, to me, my point of view, there's no such thing as a true centrist because all the centrists, from my experience, I could be wrong, but from my experience, the centrists I tell, they are on the left. They would not get one day thing, even though it's something on the right, even though it's fundamentally correct, they're right, they would never agree to them because they're right winger nuts, right? I slight, and this is the insult that well, how I took to heart right here. I lean slightly libertarian. You are not libertarian at all. Period. Who are you fooling yourself? But you had no idea of my position. That you, just, you had to snarl right here in the same sentence, folks. You can't. You can't make this up. Look. Look. Look at the same sentence right here. It says that I'm highlighting. Right. Look up there. It says also while I'm certainly more authoritarian. While I'm certainly more authoritarian than some right or libertarian. He says authoritarian in the same sentence. He admits that he's more authoritarian than he's central left. Then he says I slightly lean more libertarian. Are you nuts? This person is no libertarian. That's how I knew. But that's not what gave it away how I knew, right? I read your profile. Now, before we get into it, let's look at the profile right here. This is how I knew, right? Sometimes computer deity, slayer, a bigot, argument, trash of turf. Those are red flags. People use that stuff. Expect vulgarity, right? And if you look at his page, right? Look at his page. Look at the responses, right? Right. He's on the, this person's on the left, authoritarian left. Right here is Jenny Fern Watch Conservative Clutch Pro over Sam Smith. Excuse me. And right here, this is the type of story that's a lie for stupid racist conservatives. 
Justice Jackson's summary is correct because at birth, at a time is zero, therefore morality survive away versus preferred since there's no time of interview. This is about, I believe, about birth. But remember, this same liberal justice right here, guys, in case you don't know, this same liberal justice during her hearing, she they were she was asked a simple question. What is a woman? Can you describe? She could not. And she is a biological female. You can't make this up. You can't make this up in this culture war. And that's probably another story for another discussion about this particular um, Supreme Court justice, right? Just look at this tweet. It don't take much to go look at the page and see what kind of person he is and look at their responses, right? I didn't just make this up. I didn't. I waited and looked at their profile and then I responded. I read the profile. This is how I got it. It looks like I'm right. And you just admitted you are more authoritarian. You are definitely no libertarian, even in the slightest based on your profile. And this is and this engagement, but but in this engagement, but you are free to believe what you want and that is right, which is correct. You're free to believe wherever you want to, right? But I don't have to participate in it. That's why I call him authoritarian. This part this user admitted it and his and their and their beliefs on their page confirms it. Then this person's gonna say, being more authoritarian than a right and being more authoritarian left, it's not the same thing, right? I'm not a blank tanky, you idiot, nor am I libertarian. Like I said, this person's not a libertarian, but this person's gonna say I'm slightly libertarian. No, you don't you're not even you're not you you're you're not even slightly, you're not even past that. You are authoritarian. You're not a centrist. You are a centrist. You say you're a centrist left. No, you're not a centrist left. You are on the left, authoritarian left. And then this person says, but you don't have to go fun John Gall. And this is how you know, folks, if um, us libertarian, this is a bat single right here. When they say John Gall crazy to be a centrist, it might help you. Because in case you don't know, John Gall is a fictional character from the book from Ayn Rand called Atlas Shrug. And basically, um, it's a it's a good book, but I don't fundamentally agree with everything in the book. But it's a common book that a lot of libertarians will read. But there are more better sources that are better read that are better read than um, Atlas Shrugged, right? But a lot of people who don't know anything about libertarian, but this is what the mainstream media have done, and other mainstream outlets have done. A picture say, all you do is mention John Galt. So they think John Galt is our is our um it's like our bible to libertarianism it's not and that's why i responded with this you just said you're not a libertarian which means i was correct in my previous statement as you claim you're slightly libertarian again you admit that you are authoritarian as a libertarian i do not believe in any source of authoritarianism to break it down libertarian believe in private property right non-aggression and liberty which is also in the name don't take much to think about what libertarians are belief is in the name liberty libertarian all, and as you are clueless about libertarian, as people seem to mention John Galt, while well, I did read, but I don't agree with everything in the book, nor sh do I hold the book as the definite guide to libertarianism, as there are better sources. Point blank. Right? Do you see now, folks? Do you see now, while, do you see now why, why we cannot, cannot give them, give them an inch in this new culture war? Because Nate DeLore thought he was going to, he was going to be a good guy. I don't want to come. I'm just saying my opinion. Well, look at that. They already labeled him a cis, which is a slur. And that same side, that same side that said that we're supposed to respect and don't get all, they're saying that the right wing or whatever right side is getting upset about this. No, it's, it's the authoritarian left is getting upset. They're the ones who are really upset because if you, darn if you don't, darn if you will. Because if you don't call them by that proper pronoun or misgendered them, it's hate speed. You should, they think you should be jailed for that and you should be counseled. Hmm? And then you got the gall to call yourself even slightly. That is just an insult. You're going to say you're slight libertarian and then saying the same system, you're authoritarian. The point is, folks, stop, give, stop, it's, stop. The point is, folks, stop giving these authoritarian leftists an inch in this cultural war. Stop it. Because each day, each time you do that, you may not realize it, just agreeing to it. When you know that you don't agree with it, you're giving them more power to them. And for the people who are on the third tier left in the trans community, again, I have no hatred in my heart. I, I think everybody has the right to live their own life as happy as possible. And I wish them the best and bless them. But at the same instance, I'm going to tell you this. You do not have the right to compel other speech and you do not compel other people respect. You have to earn that. 
Now, wherever you believe in, up in here, that's fine. But it doesn't mean that the rest of us gets to participate. Remember that. Because it's time to stop giving these people an inch. Because each time you give them an inch, it's just a step further before we all lose in the end.